the unfortunate crash of AI-171 took 241 of the 242 lives on board and all eyes were on the critical information to be retrieved from the black box which has now been released by the preliminary reports of AAIB. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nankyolir and in this video we will discuss the role of AAIB or Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau in investigating such cases in India. So the preliminary reports have highlighted that there was a fuel supply cut to both the engines almost simultaneously. Like just within a second of each other, the fuel supply to both engines was cut off. As the fuel engine control switch were moved from run to cut off within seconds. So in the run position, fuel is supplied to engine as normal and the engine functions normally. But in the cut off position, the fuel supply to engine is cut off. In fact, the conversations of the cockpit voice recorder have revealed that both the pilots checked with each other if either of them had accidentally moved this to cut off, but both denied. So now there is further scrutiny that's demanded on the cockpit voice recorder, which is one of the two components of the black box and switch functioning. Because this looks like a potential human error or even a system malfunction, like a technical glitch where the switches were not functioning properly. So this is all preliminary right now. It's a preliminary finding and a report. Detailed investigations are under process and we'll have to wait for the detailed report to come out. But in order to understand how aircraft accident investigations work, we first need to know the international standards for aircraft accident investigation. So this is governed by the Chicago Convention of 1944 or the Convention on International Civil Aviation. Chicago Convention or the Convention on International Civil Aviation, particularly Annex 13 deals with all forms of aircraft accidents and this is a convention under ICAO, International Civil Aviation Organization which is a UN member body with 193 member states and this sets the investigation responsibility with the state of occurrence. Now this convention mentions five types of parties in an aircraft accident which are number one state of occurrence, second state of operation, Third, state of manufacture. Fourth, state of registry. And fifth, state of design. So these are the five types of parties which are mentioned in this convention. And if we talk about each of these, state of occurrence is where the accident has happened. In this case, where the crash happened and this was India. State of operation is where the airline was operating, where the aircraft was operating. So this was operating in India. State of manufacturing is where the aircraft was manufactured. Now this was a Boeing, it was manufactured in the US. State of registry is where the aircraft was registered. This again was India. And state of design is where the aircraft was designed. Since this was a Boeing, it was designed in the US. Now this convention primarily sets the responsibility of investigation on the state of occurrence. That is the reason that India is investigating this incident. But all the other parties can also participate. However, the primary responsibility is of the state of occurrence. And if we look at the body responsible for investigating this in India, it is the AAIB or Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau. Now, all these statements given on screen are important from a prelims point of view. So, this AAIB is a statutory body under the Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India. This was established in 2012 and it started operating independent of the DGCA. DGCA is the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. Now, before 2012, DGCA was responsible for investigating for aircraft incidents. But DGCA is majorly a regulatory body or a licensing body which deals with pilot licenses, engineer licenses or training aircraft uh, institutes licenses, things of that sort. So it's regulatory in nature. Now if a regulator, if becomes an investigator, there is going to be a conflict of interest. And that is the reason that a need was felt for an independent body. And in 2012, we established AAIB whose sole purpose is to carry out investigations of aircraft accidents. 
and this draws its powers from the Aircraft Act of 1934 and the Aircraft Investigation of Accidents and Incidents Rules of 2017. And the key responsibilities of AAIB are investigation, investigation of all accidents and serious incidents involving an aircraft where the weight is more than 2250 kg, all turbojet aircraft incidents and any other cases as deemed necessary. Now, if you see, there are two key terms which are used here, accidents and serious incidents. Because AAIB, it categorizes all occurrences into three major types, which are number one, incidents, second, serious incidents and an accident. Now, the severity of the consequences is the lowest here, mid here and the highest in accidents. So, when we talk about incidents, it is any minor occurrence. Let's say your flight was delayed or the communication was temporarily cut off from the ATC. So, nothing major happened here. There was only a minor inconvenience. So, that is termed as an incident. Then we move towards the second category, which is a serious incident. Here, nothing major happened, but it could have happened. It had the potential to turn into an accident, but the risk or the damage was averted. For example, there was a fire alarm, there was a, a contingency of that sort, but safe landing was ensured or a bird had hit the engines, the engine stopped working, but again a safe landing was ensured. So here nothing major happened, but it could have happened. It had the potential of turning into an accident. So here an investigation is required. In the terms of simple incidents, it may or may not require an investigation. In serious incidents, an investigation is required. And then we have an accident where something grave happened, something serious or fatal happened. Like there was a loss of life, uh, the, the aircraft was severely damaged or the aircraft went missing altogether. So something serious happened. In this case, it was a crash and then this is termed as an accident. So accidents and serious incidents, they have to be investigated by the AAIB. And if we talk about the objective of AAIB here, so it is solely investigatory in nature. It has to carry on investigations. It does not have to play blame games. It does not have to fix blames. It simply has to carry out investigation so that we can identify the cause of the incident and it can be averted in future. So this is what AAIB does. And it can access any relevant evidence without legal permissions from the court. Because you will have to understand the gravity of the situation here. Something serious, something fatal has happened and we cannot delay the investigation for any permission purposes. So that is why it can access all relevant evidence without legal permissions. It can collaborate with agencies like HAL and DGCA for technical support like accessing their laboratories etc. And it can publish its final reports. So once it's published its final reports, it is shared with the ICAO, which is the International Civil Aviation Organization. And if we look at the step-by-step -step investigation process, so there is an immediate deployment of investigators, then the preservation of perishable evidence like the black box, detailed review and analysis, technical examinations, study of documents and records, and this is an important point, access to all evidence without prior permission from courts or other bodies in order to avoid all forms of delays, Draft report is prepared, internally reviewed and approved by the DG AAIB, which is the Director General of AAIB and the final report is published publicly, then submitted to the ICAO. Recommendations are sent to the DGCA so that they can be implemented and any further incidents are avoided. So that was all for today's video. I hope you understood what AAIB does. Right now, these are all preliminary reports. We'll have to wait for the final reports to come in. And we can only hope that the cause is identified correctly and we are able to avert any such damages in future. Now, let us practice a question for prelims. With reference to Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau in India, consider the following statements. 1. AAIB functions under the Ministry of Civil Aviation and is independent of the DGCA. 2. The primary objective of AAIB investigations is to establish criminal liability and fix accountability for accidents. 3. AAIB has the authority to access any evidence without requiring prior approval from judicial or other government authorities. Which of the statements is or are correct? A. 2 and 3 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 3 only. And D. 1 and 2 only. 
Please provide your answers in the comment section and we'll meet the next time with a new video. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.